Can you game with the Intel HD Graphics 630 at 1080p? That's the question quite a few people might ask, and today I'm here to answer you that question. So welcome everybody, hop on board, let's take a look at how much of a decent gaming experience we can get out of the Intel HD graphics, the new one, the 630, on the Intel Core i7 7700K KB Lake CPU. To be specific, I'll test all the games at 1080p, because come on, 720p is not a standard anymore. 1080p should be the standard by now, so let's go. First of all, which Intel processors do actually come with the new Intel HD Graphics 630 iGPU? To start from the top, the expensive CPUs, it can be found on the 7700K, 7700T, 7700, 7600K, 7600T, 7600, 7500T, 7500, 7400T, 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 7350K, 7320, 7300T, 7300 t 100 t 7100 and finally the Pentium G4620 and G4600. That's quite the list, takes my breath away. Again I'll be testing with the i7 7700K. As for the specs, 350 MHz space clock, DirectX 12 and OpenGL 4.4 support, max resolution via DisplayPort 4096 by 2304 at 60Hz, same resolution via HDMI 1.4 but at 24Hz only. 64GB max video memory, the iGPU operates on the system memory of course. And last but not least, a total of 3 monitors are supported. When it comes to display outputs, that's depending on the motherboard you're pairing your processor with. So if you're planning to seriously use the Intel HD graphics, I'd recommend picking a motherboard that comes with a DisplayPort output, since it supports 4K at 60Hz. In my case, just like I've done all my other testing of the CPU on, I'll I'll run the benchmarks with the MSI Z270 Gaming M7 board. But enough talking, it's finally time for the benchmarks. Hmm, okay, not that great results I got there. When comparing the iGPU's predecessor, the Intel HD Graphics 530, not a whole lot has changed actually. To be quite frank, pretty much nothing. So the answer to the question if you can game with the integrated graphics at 1080p is simple to answer. Sadly, it's a resounding no. No, you cannot play modern games at the 1080p screen resolution. Not even with all the graphic settings and details lowered to the absolute minimum. So yes, 720p probably would have been the more suitable resolution choice, but I didn't want to run through those tests, since in my opinion in 2017, no one should be gaming at that resolution anymore. If you own a monitor with 720p being its native resolution, sure, but not with most people having 1080p screens nowadays. By lowering the game resolution on 1080p, screens to 720p, games look just horrible. Fancy graphics wouldn't be helping much at that point. But let me tell you, even if you played at 720p, it's not a good experience anyway. But yeah, at least at 1080p with the Intel HD graphics, 630 I could achieve somewhat playable 27 frames per second in two of the games I tested, GTA 5 and Skyrim. All other games were simply unplayable. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not expecting to be able to seriously 
game on an iGPU, but I would have hoped for some performance improvements over the previous generation. Obviously the Intel HD Graphics 630 seems to be somewhat of a rebrand of the 530. Not much more unfortunately. Long story short, 1080p gaming is not possible. However, I doubt Intel's integrated graphics are really meant to play games. I believe it's all about encoding and so on. Still, I hope you found this video to be somewhat useful. What do you think about the 630 or iGPUs in general? Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.